the back of today's Studio 10 visit, I just wanted to go through and show everybody how to make the garlic prawns. So back at the restaurant here, we're going to get the pan nice and hot like I mentioned before. I've already peeled the prawns. I've posted a clip on how to uh, peel the prawns so you can watch that clip, but uh, I'm just going to quickly show everyone how to cook it so you can make it at home. What we got first of all, nice hot smoking pan. We're going to sprinkle some oil. Now the oil is fantastic for the prawns to caramelize, get flavor, pull it out, really taste good, right? So now that's nice and hot. We're gonna put in the prawns. And we fry that up. Now you can see the color already happening kind of instantly. That's all that flavor gonna come out. What we're gonna do is we've got some garlic. Now remember, it's garlic prawns, so don't be shy, right? Give it a quick toss around, stir it around with your tongs. A little bit of onion now. We're gonna fry off that onion. The reason why I put onion into a dish like this is because we're gonna get the flavor, we're gonna use less salt. Okay, so this is gonna taste really, really good. Come over here and you get to come and see how this uh, how this garlic is like caramelizing beautifully. The prawns aren't like fully cooked yet, they're just colored beautifully. Now we're gonna get some thyme. Sprinkle a bit of that thyme in there, that perfume of the thyme, the garlic and the onion is going to smell great. Now we've got some pure cream. Thickened cream is okay, just anything cream. Don't use milk because it won't thicken. Sprinkle some of this cream in, a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, stir it around. This part's really, really important because this part right now is all that cream is going to reduce. All that water that's inside the cream is going to evaporate out. Once that water evaporates out, that sauce is going to become thick. Water tastes like nothing, so therefore the flavor is going to intensify and you're going to have a cracker dish. I'm going to serve it on a bed of rice. You can throw pasta in here. You can put. Uh, you can just have it with some crusty bread. You can do whatever you like. You can have it with some cauliflower rice, anything like that, but just make sure you give it the patience and let that cream thicken. Once that cream thickens, she's right to go, okay? If you feel like you're doing a big batch, like for a big amount of family, what you can do is simply grab your prawns, pull them out individually so they don't overcook. Now I grab these prawns from the Sydney fish markets. Get your relationship built up with your local fishmonger. Right, I go down to uh, Musumichi down at the Sydney fish markets. I go see Jimmy, Frank, John, Jimmy, Con, whichever one there is, right? I can't see all the boys down there and they're fantastic. So there's your prawns. You've pulled them out so they can stop cooking. Now you're allowing your sauce just to reduce that ever so slightly, that little bit more. Now here comes the money shot. That sauce is nice and thick. If you want to know how thick to make it, you could coat the back of a spoon and it'll coat beautifully over the back of the spoon. I come right into here and you can smell that garlic, that beautiful thyme. On a bed of rice. This is what I cooked this morning at Studio 10. Just wanted to clarify so everyone can cook it at home. But please enjoy. Ciao.